At the same time, Daniel recognizes that the foster family is grieving. Um, and today, Daniel Perry is a free man. And so it's a happy ending, I guess. Um, but it shouldn't be glossed over that he had nearly four years of his life taken from him just for defending himself. And it just... There are so many similarities to this. It reminds me of my friend Kyle Rittenhouse, whose, you know, his trial went a little differently because the jury actually came back with the right verdict and there was no pardon and parole board who had to right the wrong, but he had his entire life upended. I mean, to this day, he's had to deal with the consequences of that. The president of the United States was calling him a white supremacist with no evidence. He was campaigning then, I believe. The now president of the United States was releasing ads insinuating that Kyle Rittenhouse uh, murdered someone because he was a white supremacist. So, you know, he had to spend time in jail waiting to prove that he just defended his own life. And he, it never should have it never should have come to that because the evidence was already there is the same thing in this case. It never should have come to this. Daniel Perry should not have had to wait four years to be able to clear his name. Um, he will never live a normal life now. And it just, you know, I, I'm I'm so happy that he was pardoned and I'm so happy that Governor Abbott and the board righted the wrong. But he can, he's, he's not going to be whole. He's not going to be made whole from what he had to go through. All for justifiable actions, which I just want this to serve as a reminder. All right. This is great. Good news in the state of Texas. But you can have as many self-defense laws as you want. You can have the strongest set of self-defense laws in your particular state. And none of it will matter if you have a corrupt DA. All bets are off in that case. Okay. And George Soros is... I, I just read an article the other day. This was a, a couple of weeks ago. George Soros, this is a fact. George Soros is investing millions of dollars in the state of Texas to turn it blue. So whether that be trying to get in a secretary of state who he can manipulate, trying to get in these corrupt DAs, one of whom is Jose Garza, however he can invest in corrupt actions or, you know, uh, corrupt candidates to be able to turn Texas blue and be able to control this state, he will do. And so we have to just keep our eyes open and be vigilant about these little mini tyrants who are getting elected to these local positions like DA, 